Sports, ladies and gentlemen, this is George Gunn here again, your avid Pantalla aficionado, and thanks for welcoming me to your homes. Today we'll learn the uh, fingerboard reference chart and the major sc scale chart. Fingerboard chart shows the two types of notes we're concerned in our Manduria, the oud and octavina instruments, the open string and the fretted string notes. As we have learned from our last video presentation, the open string notes for our Banduria Laud and Octavina from the first to sixth tuning units are G, D, A, E, B, and F sharp. That is for the alphabet chordal note form. And Sol, Re, La, Mi, D, and Fa sharp for the Latin individual note forms. Well, the alphabet chordal note form of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C may also be used by others who prepare it for the melodic structure. However, the Latin individual note form in ascending sequence, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, is the style we'll mostly be using in the musical arrangements that are going to be shared with you for the melodic structure in Banduria La Oud and Octavina. The alphabet choral form is the one we'll be using for the harmonic music structure to support the melodic lines. You will notice that we color-coded our notes in our makeshift fingerboard. Those colored in black are natural notes. Those black notes were, when identified, will be colored red and are either a sharp or flatted string notes. Sharp note is the next fret higher string note towards the body of the instrument. Going towards the body of the instrument again, it is the next fret higher string note and that is called the sharp. Whereas flat note is the next fret lower string note toward the peg of the instrument. This is the peg head and all the notes of the next fret towards the head is from of a natural note is called a flat note. The natural sharp and the flat notes are the three music accidentals that we're going to familiarize ourselves with in our freestyle way of learning how to play the banduria, the oud, and the octavina. Based on this explanations of the flats and sharp we may now fill in the blanks with corresponding sharps and flat notes and we'll use a red colored pen to do this. Let's go to the topic of the major scale chart. With some understanding of the major scale chart formula, we'll get to learn how to run down the notes of our string instruments with frets given our standard open string note. Thereby, we'll understand how, how those natural sharp and flat fretted string notes in our fingerboard chart came into being. So to run down the notes of the respective strings in our banduria, the Oud and Octavina, using the major scale chart, it goes in ascending order, starting from the open string notes and sequentially for the Latin individual note form, Do, Re, Mi, Pa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. A major scale consists of two tones, five whole tones and two semitones or half tones. Here is a major scale chart showing the fret separation between the whole five whole tones and the two semitones. or half tones, Mi to Fa, and Ti to Do, which are one fret apart. So based on this major scale chart and knowing our open string notes for our banduria, Laud and Octavina, we can now run down the rest of the notes of 
the respective strings in our instrument. It goes in ascending order starting from the open string and sequentially following the standard Latin individual form of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. For example, the open string is Sol. As we run it down sequentially in ascending manner, Sol is followed by La, which according to our chart formula is two frets apart, then by T. Again, according to the charts, is two frets apart and followed by Do, which is one fret apart. Now, the very next note after the Sol, based from our sharp and flat notes definition earlier, is Sol sharp or La flat. Composite writing of major scale pattern for, for practical reasons and ease of learning, I would like to suggest that we'll try our best to run down major scale pattern and remember the open string note and all credit string notes for the first string up to the 12th fret of the, the first string again. We learn the open string up to the 12th fret if possible. For the second to the sixth string, again, for now, I encourage everyone to run down and remember the open strings and fretted string notes up to the fifth frets only. And that will be for practical reasons again and ease of learning. So, the boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, based on this explanation of the major scale chart, we now have a fairly good understanding as to where and how those identified fretted notes in our fingerboard chart came into being. Thanks for your attention and hope that you could now cherish, as I do, the joys of playing Rondalia instruments. We'll see you again soon with various musical pieces for us to learn together. Mabuhay!